Hello friends and welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel. If today is your first time visiting with us, I would like to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to view our almost 500 videos that are arranged for your convenience in playlists as we are confident you are going to find something both entertaining and useful to watch. If you have been here before but you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. During the coronavirus uh, shelter in home orders, one of the things that we can do is work in our electronics to, to improve them. And of course, having the right tool for the right job is always very, very important. So today in our first look for the Wednesday Quickie, we're going to look at a, a really interesting uh, tool. It is a charging electric screwdriver and it is like a, a normal um, power tool, but the difference is it is a much smaller scale. It comes with all the necessary bits, including safety bits that are used by Apple to do small things. As you can see, those are fairly small, right? It actually, yeah, it actually charges using standard, standard USB. So it is rechargeable. It has a very nice grip to it. So it is very pencil-like, right? The charging port is there. Where? Where my... Where your thumb is. Where my thumb is. Mm -hmm. There, where? Hold on. Okay. It's very quiet, so you won't disturb people even if you're in the same room. Can you hear it? Yes, I can totally hear that. It does sound a little bit like a... Dental drill, that's probably yes, a negative. <laughs> and these specific kits come with a magnetizer and demagnetizer. So you can, uh, when you use small screws, magnetizing the screw is very important. So you put it through here to magnetize it. And you put it up here and it demagnetizes. It's pretty cool actually. It works very well. This specific one is a huge zong. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Actually, the other side has a better. You think that's correctly pronounced? Yu Zong? I guess, since I don't speak Chinese or whatever. Well, it's English, so. Yeah, but there's always some intonation with pronunciation, so. But these tools are fairly inexpensive and there are many different brands available at Amazon. Uh, so it is a first look of the categories, not this specific one, because frankly, I don't even know what this specific one is. In fact, it is nowhere in its box or anywhere. It has a model number or anything else. All it says is charging electric screwdriver, you know? Mm -hmm. So this, sorry. this provides some really uh, interesting uses. Uh, one of the things that you can do while you're here at, at home is to save some money by upgrading your electronics by yourself and of course most electronics like laptops are great examples have very small screws a normal screwdriver is simply too large for this right mm -hmm. the advantage of this screwdriver is that it provides enough torque to unscrew the screw without stripping it something that uh, don't ask me how i know it's very common with our drivers you wouldn't know i, I wouldn't know anything about that right but this is uh, very nice and also it it does not have the strength to over tighten, tighten a screw and if you have a plastic cover, this happens to be metal, but if you have a plastic cover, break it when you reattach it. Right. So this is a great way to, to work on electronics or anything with small screws. I don't know if any of these will work well with uh, jewelry or not. I don't know. You don't have screws on jewelry, do you? Yeah, sometimes. But anything small with... Um, I don't know if we can provide a, a reference, but this is a USB a mini USB and you can see the size. Well, yeah, I was using my finger also as a pointer. Well, people don't know how big your finger is. Hmm. Maybe you're big fingered. Yeah, I have very <laughs> large fingers. So it is fairly small. My finger compared to a USB. I mean, I like the presentation because it keeps both the bits and the screwdriver and the demagnetizer and magnetizer. This is a very, very good tool and I'm sure I can use it to magnetize big Screw, bigger screwdrivers too, don't you think? Well, I would guess so. But I've used it and uh, I've done some upgrades. Uh, you have seen uh, in another Wednesday Quickie, 
our uh, review of this specific laptop and I would like to increase memory and also put a, a bigger hard drive, not hard drive, SSD in it. Mm -hmm. So it has four gigabytes of memory, it's very fast, very, I'm very, very pleased with it. So increasing its memory and uh, capacity of saving data will make it even better than it is. So what we think of this? Uh, it is very easy, the, the buttons are fairly part apart so for a, a small screwdriver, so it's easy to know if you're pressing the up or down, doesn't make sense? Mm -hmm. It has a tactile feel, but unfortunately it's the same. But if you... I know. Sorry. So it has an easy, you don't have to look, and even though it is the same, the, the icons, the, the ridges are the same, but you can still feel it, like if you put your finger in the middle, which is flat, I don't know if it is visible that the middle is flat. I'm trying to get this camera that I'm not a fan of to focus. Well, you're probably too close if it doesn't focus. I'm doing stuff. Well, but if you're too close, it will not focus. Well, everything else is in focus. So, the down button <laughs> is one direction and of course the reverse is the other direction, you know? Okay. Uh, it is very useful, very useful, very easy to use, it's very light, so you could potentially work it for a long period of time. Uh -huh. Work with it, not work it. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to work it? No. Initially, when I first started using it, I thought it had a strange shape, you know, for a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's totally cylindrical. But it is very easy to work and hold and work with it. I've done already an upgrade with it, so I have used it. Still, it is not a review yet because I've used it for maybe half an hour. So I don't like to review. And as always, I don't know how long it will last. I know I've, uh, it came charged and I've not charged it since I took it out of the box and it still works fine. So, I think uh, the battery life is, is very <laughs> satisfactory. And, uh, and we are going to use it in some projects we're going to show you in the future here, probably in Quickies or other projects. In any case, uh, I've never used power electric screwdrivers for my electronics. I've always used um, manuals, manuals, manual ones. And I've built computers and I've built a lot of other things. But I, I tell you that since I got this and I've used it once, I do like it. I like how it feels. It performs very well, and it is actually not a bad-looking device, right? Sure. You don't like it. The, the appearance doesn't do anything for me, but the functionality seems good. It it seems to be well constructed. I mean, nothing looks cheap on it. The finishes are good, as you can see here. The connection is good. You don't see any any problem there. So, overall, uh, I would definitely recommend this type of tool. I would recommend this specific tool. If I can find the link for it, I will put it in the doobly da below. Doobly da? Yeah, you like that? Yeah. It's I don't a know new what a doobly da is. It's the thing below. It's a new term. It's a doobly da. It's a doobly da. Okay. Doobly da, doobly do. So, I will recommend it. It definitely make my last upgrade easier than it has been with similar objects because it was you don't get tired, uh, like my Apple machines have a lot of screws and some of them are very, very long, the laptops. So it takes a long time just, even though they're small screws, it takes a lot of revolutions. But with this it becomes effortless. So I definitely uh, would recommend the general category, I would recommend this specific one, because this is the only one I have used. It's the first and only one I have used, I don't have any other ones. So definitely I think it's a very, very useful tool. Just as a a side uh, note, the best and easiest and cheapest way to improve the performance of your computer is to add memory, put as much memory as the machine can take, and switch, if you're still having mechanical drives, also known as hard drives, switch to SSDs, you know, secu secured uh, solid, state. solid state. I don't know why I call them secure. Because the other SSD are... Yeah, there are two SSDs with different terms. So it is a great way to get a lot of bang out of your dollar and continue using your older electronics. In fact, we did something on your computer, which is fairly 
old, right? Yeah. Something similar will change the memory. And yeah. a couple um, years ago, we put in a solid state drive, and then it, more recently, we did the memory. And it definitely allowed you to use that machine for longer. Than oh, yeah. It, it started being very slow and really wasn't keeping up to date, but now at least it is not something you know you right, it's usable. You turn on and then you go and take a shower, make coffee, and clean the house, and <laughs> then it boots, right? So, using tools like that, you can enhance your electronics, you can really fix and upgrade a lot of things. I hope you did enjoy this uh, Wednesday quickie, and if you did, we do ask that you give us a thumb up. If you didn't, the other button works as well. Share, like, subscribe, and let us know down in the comments or the doobly do what you would like to see in the coming weeks in the channel. And we might have within the next couple of weeks some exciting news to share with you. Share with you. So stick around. We might have some a lot of fun projects in the rest of the year, and we're going to talk about that more in in the coming episode. From the Garage Wizard Elpida and the Urban homesteading channel 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 let's try that again <laughs> <laughs> from the grass wizard elpida and the urban homesteading channel we want you to stay safe in these difficult times have fun build something fix something do something yourself diy times it's one of the best ways to spend the time that we all are forcibly having it's not really spring break but forcible time alone with uh, some loved people that maybe after this is over will not be loved people every, anymore because we're stuck with them, right? Maybe. So, we're going to see you again on the weekend and next Wednesday with another quickie. Farewell, friends. <laughs>